All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to Days Gone. Now, the last time I played this, I made three videos on my channel for this game. And it turned out pretty well. And, um, well, let's see here. Hang on a sec. I'm getting a text message here. Uh... Okay, that's that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get started. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I had a text message that came through. Okay, so. This is where we left off at. Follow Nero Researcher. Now, who am I supposed to follow exactly out of these guys? I have no idea, but... We're going to grab this rock right here. And we're going to try to lead him... All the way over there. All right, so let me wait for this guy to turn around. All right, we should be good to go here. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, I need to make it up to those shrubs, I guess. So I need to go up that way. That's where I need to go. I think I better wait for him to turn around and go back down the hill before I try going up through there. That would probably be the best. All right, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, no, I don't want to read that. Dude, come on. Oh, shoot. Stay within the earshot of the researcher to eavesdrop on Nero. All right. Getting hungry. Time now. Field note two zero zero zero. Okay, stay well, stay well. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey, Doc, I see site twenty three on the roster for tomorrow. Is that us? No, it's O'Brien. Got it. <sighs> Shit. We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside, King O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. Sleep with my baby, Sarah. And I asked if you were going say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. Not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was food from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Return to your bike. Alright, so. Uh. Bushes. I gotta keep to the bushes. 
All right, the other guy is up there, so let's go up here now. All right, there's another guy right here. I need to wait for him to turn around. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, now, how am I going to sneak around this guy? That is a good question. Oh, shoot, there's another guy. Oh, my God. Do I have any rocks? I do. All right, let's throw the rock over there. Oh shit, no. No, now I gotta do it all over again. Dang. Alright, I guess I should have threw the rock a little bit further. Oh sweet, I don't have to do it all over again. Sweet. Alright, uh, let's go. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning. Alright, so we'll try to throw the, both of the rocks to the other side, I guess. All right, hopefully we got enough time here. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. All right, there's another guy over there, right? All right. Yeah. Anyone else hear that? The fuck was that? Okay, stay well. I guess I should have kept going. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Made it through that. Craft recipe is unlocked. Residue bolt. Oh, nice. Residue bolt. Residue bolts cause enemies to turn on each other. Try using them to wreck some havoc. Oh, man. Definitely going to try that. Nitrous boosting. You can't boost without equipping your bike with nitrous. Purchase an upgrade on an encampment mechanic. Once equipped, press A on your bike to boost. Boozer, you there? Boozman, come back. The soldier took Sarah. What are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Ryan, couldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive. Boozer, he's alive. What are you talking about? We were there, the whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. I went into their LZ. They... Wait, wait, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just. Hey, uh, get some sleep. Take it out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. From the start of this living hell, there's now our life. 
came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most have spoke out against the feds. Well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Oh, no, my the cemeteries are filled with oh, bunkers, shoot. Not martyrs. And you had to keep moving because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they would have blown it to hell. Just so I wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. We're gonna have to take a shortcut here. Uh. Oh, man. Where's my, um. Can't. I'm not trying to save, but. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The map here. There has to be another way around. The damn tunnel, right? Or do I gotta park my bike? Is that what I'm gonna have to try to do? Let me go down this way a little bit and see. Oh, King Mine. Wow. The White King Mine. Oh my god! Not good, not good, not good. I don't have that much ammo. Oh my god. Come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. Dude, they knocked me off of my damn bike. Alright, it looks like we're going to have to go back to the tunnel. I didn't know they could do that, man. Alright, since we're going to get low on gas here soon, we need to... Um... <laughs> we really need some ammunition as well, too. We need something that... We need ammo and everything. Alright, I'm gonna park my bike. Alright, we're gonna do a quick save, right? So we just did that. Wanna get our knife out? I know there's one zombie in here. Well, he was in here. Dude, can I seriously not get around? Oh, okay, just like that. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, I don't remember if I'm if I can jump or not. Like, I don't remember. It's been a couple months since I played. All right, we're just trying to make it out of the other side. That's all we're trying to do. And we know there has to be a zombie in here somewhere. Got our knife out just in case. Very surprised that we haven't ran into a zombie through here. There was there was one in here earlier. All right, we can turn off the flashlight. Too bad we can't get our bike through here. Another near outside. I wonder if there's anything inside that mobile medical unit. Hmm. He's right. We should go in here and check it out. All right. Can we go in here? Powers off. Figures. If the power is off, can we turn it on? 
Is there anything up here? It doesn't look like it. Nope. I'm going to check out these tents here and see what's going on here. Hey, we got some fuel in here. And what is that, a restorable battery? Oh, that's kerosene. Cloth, we can use that. Um, that looks like, okay, a sterilizer, we can take that with us. Um, you know what, I kind of want to... Um, Let's take this back to our bike and put some fuel in it. That's something I want to do. We can refuel our bike because we're, we're down to like almost half a tank maybe. We can go ahead and fill her on up. Hopefully no zombie like, you know appears in here all of a sudden you know what i'm saying like hopefully that doesn't happen i remember when i made my first three videos of this game and i was just blown away by like everything man and i'm still blown away by it you know like i didn't know that a wolf can like you know what i'm saying <laughs> can jump. You know, I just didn't think a wolf could take you off your bike, man. That was just radio crazy. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black help. Helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof. Alright, now. Right. How do I drop this? Okay. Let's go. No. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time to they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men. Shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> Jesus. Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. Alright, so we only got three bullets for our pistol, four shotgun shells one in the chamber and basically with the other gun it's the same way so we're just going to keep our knife out for protection um i don't think there's anything else through here that we what is this mm mm fuse panels if a nero mmu needs a fuse spares can be found by searching the nero checkpoint a fuse to turn on the power i guess oh, god damn it Fuse blown. Oh, he's talking about this right here. Oh, okay, okay. So then there has to be an extra one around here somewhere. V fuel generators with a gas can. Oh, shit. I just took the gas can. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> it responded. The fuel can responded. All right. We'll, we'll do this real quick. Alright, we'll drop that down, and let's look for the fuse. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Alright, nothing of worth in here. Maybe there's one over here somewhere? Nope. We still got a long way to go, that's for sure. Alright, let me go... Deacon is saying wrong direction, but, I mean, we're trying to find something here.
Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, okay. Maybe uh, what's in here? Aha! It feels yes. I knew there was one around here somewhere. All right, so let's get this fuse in here, and then we'll go up in here, and we'll try to see what's going on. Yeah, now we're in business. I'll let you do it. All right. And then we got to, let's see here. Restart the generator. Yeah, now we're in business. Damn it. That's going to bring them all down on me. Here we go. Okay, what else we got? We need to grab and run. We can't we can't stay in here too long. Another narrow injector. Good. What the heck? Use narrow tech to increase your health. Use narrow tech to increase your stamina. Use narrow tech to increase your focus. Um, let's do my health. I want to do it on my, my health. Yeah. Track down as much Nero until as I can. Find out what happened here. That shit was going down. Hey, there's a gun locker here. Oh, that's right. That's, yeah, yeah, that's right. <coughs> Okay, let's uh let's get the flock out of here. There goes the zombies. You guys see them? Okay, we're going to go through the woods here. I wonder, well, no, there's no way to get around all that. Uh, wow. I guess I may not ever be able to make it back to my motorcycle. I don't know. I don't even know how long this is going to take for me to get through here. All right, I don't know what this place is, but we're going to slowly sneak up and see what it is. Um, okay, so apparently this is not where I'm supposed to be at. I'm not even supposed to be here. But there's a tracking area right here, though. That's kind of what I was going for. Kind of what I was looking for was that. All right. Um, I still want to see what this place right here is, though. I know Deacon doesn't want to do it, but I just want to take a sneak peek. I don't know if there's anybody home or not. But okay. I'll tell you what. We're going to head back down where we came and we may have to fight through them zombies but that's okay okay let's take a look around my controller is like shaking real lot All right, let's get back down the hill here. Oh, boy. And let's try to get around these zombies. 
Oh shit, there they are. Alright, so we're seeing about five of them from the looks of it. One, two, three, four. I wonder which way. Five, six, seven. Holy shit. I should have went eight, nine. You got to be kidding me. Oh my god, dude. I don't know how I'm going to get past them. All right, there's four of them that are marked. There's going to be four or five more. There's another one there. All right, now they're going towards the freaking tunnel. They're going into the tunnel, almost. Now they're running back this way. If they could get on the other side over there, then maybe I could sneak right past them. They was like way up here, so that's what was kind of interesting. I don't have any rocks, so I can't use my rocks. I don't know, can I? Yeah, I do. I do have a rock, actually, yeah. Alright, here's what we'll do. <laughs> Run for it, boys! Oh, shit. Just run for it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Just keep on going, Wes. Alright. You're almost in the safe zone. Almost. Almost. You're almost to your bike. Run a little bit faster. Oh my god. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh, man, no, no, I'm supposed to go all the way over there, dude. Oh, no, there has to be another way. I need my bike, man. That's too far of a hike to get there. Um, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm thinking about going down to Crazy Willie's infestation area. I'm thinking about doing that instead. Like, going through there, and then maybe there's, like, another road that comes up and goes around through here there has to be man there has to be another road because this right here is a long ass hike you know what I'm saying I just don't know what to do so we're going to set our marker we're gonna put a marker right here and let's just give that a try because I really want to stay on my bike we got full tank of gas, so we're good to go. Boy, it's not a good road through here. Alright, there we go, there we go.
Oh my god! Oh my god! There's another one! Alright, uh, please tell me I can get through here. Yes! Oh, dang it, another tunnel system. Shit. Alright, hopefully we, we can get through here. I don't know if we can or not. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let me get through here. Yes, yes, almost there, almost there. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh boy, I heard some gunshots. I think it's because we're getting near Crazy Willy's infestation area. Alright, so yeah. So yes, there is a road apparently. Hopefully that is a road. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. So... I'm not going to be stopping through here. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Yeah, you do it later, Deacon. You're not going to do it now, cowboy. We got to see where this road goes. So we can stay on our bike. Alright, we're moving right along. All right, uh, let's cut up through here. Oh, oh. Sniper ambush shot, oh, goddammit. Oh boy, not good, not good, not good. Oh god, dude. You got to be kidding me. Where the heck is my bike at? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this, guys! Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude, get on the bike! Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That was sick. That... Alright. Where am I? Yo. I'm gonna try that route one more time. I'm gonna try it one more time. See, I made a mistake when I was trying to turn around and that's when they got me. So, let's... um. We're going to try this one more time. I know I'm probably not supposed to be going this way, but heck with it. I'm going to anyway. I should be able to make it through there as long as I'm not stopping, but that sniper is a real good shot though, man. Oh my god, that is a zombie! Alright, right, this is where I got shot and killed. Now let's keep going. Oh boy, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop, Wes. Ah, and don't wreck your bike. Yeah. Landing damage. When landing, you can reduce damage done to your bike by using L to angle your tires parallel. 
Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, do not stop. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Okay. I think we're in the safe zone now. I think we're kind of okay now. But then again, I've never been out this way before. Oh, make that sharp turn. Alright, go, 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 go. Because there's probably more of them out here. Holy cow. So far, I think this has turned out to be a pretty good video. Oh, my God. Uh. One of the biker boys. Open up. Cool, they're letting me in. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at that big site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. <laughs> Alright, so what do we gotta do now here? Um. Yo, is there any, does anyone have any freaking ammo here? I need some ammo, bro. That's what I need. I need to replenish on ammo. Looks like I may not be able to, though. I don't know. I think we got a garden going on back here. Telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength, it'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we've got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one we hear running your dig. You want me out there in the shit. In the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! <laughs> oh, man. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the feet. Hey, it's not my problem. Your ass back to you want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? 
Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, so about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the ship burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right to keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folk survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here, hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits. For Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Well, all right, guys. I'm gonna stop the video right here. And then we're gonna pick up right where we left off at in the next video. Stay tuned.